Hello, my name is Karx82, and welcome back to our multi-block madness series. Now, I haven't done anything since the end of last episode. Uh, I had to uh, quit out the world and uh, real life stuff. Um, so I just logged back in and did some kind of research and comments, and I've realized... Uh, the problem with this is that I had casings in the corner on all four corners. I, I don't know, that just seemed like that was the way it was supposed to be. Because, <laughs> you know, these have, it's on that corner. Um, but apparently that is not the correct location for these. So you can actually place, when we get to it, you can actually place the, uh, the coolers in this spot. Um... And it should form when we do this. Yep, there we go. All right, cool. So not, didn't take me too long to figure that one out. Uh, I could have been a bit of a nightmare. I mean, I guess it's sort of kind of makes sense if you look at it. Then there's like a full kind of area around the this thing in the corner. Uh, but yeah, there we go. There is that. Sincano, Cinco, just whatever. Um, so we do need to speed this up. Now, we're going to, I'm going to place stuff, obviously, in, I'm going to place more of these in there, and we'll get it up to the thing we need. Now, the only thing I'm a little confused at, like, I guess if we want to get it up higher, we just need to make it bigger. Is that is that what we're gonna do? Like, I don't think like we send particles in and then it goes around and around and around until we're up to the correct thing. I I don't think that's how it works. It literally says like length. So I'm assuming that by placing in. The RF, if I need to get up to like 20, then we would place in a bunch of let's see. Uh yeah. Would we place in enough to get these up to the correct thing? I don't know. And if we need to add more, do we just make it bigger? Not fully sure how that works, so we'll have to do a little testing on that, but I do have to get a whole bunch of coolers in. Now, I do have some practice with this, um, learning kind of the different requirements for each one. Like, I know this can just go next to an RF capacitor or RF cavity, which is that thing, it doesn't need anything else. And then copper can go next to the water. Same with slime. So there is that, but there is a whole nother group, which is these. So the lapis cooler can go next to a yoke, electromagnetic yoke. So that will, like that's a whole nother group. And then this lets you do some of these too. So for example, this liquid helium needs to be next to a, a lapis which we couldn't use in that because there is no yoke thing in that. And this needs to be next to a boron. And that one needs to next to be a yoke and a functional RF cavity. So as we can see, we have a little bit more. Um, there's a lot more coolers we can use in this synchrotronathan. And a few of them are... You know, like this liquid helium is actually really good compared to, say, water. It's 60 heat per tick. That's 200 heat per tick. So that is that. Now, the other thing that with this, thank you for pointing it out, the beam actually needs to go in the center. I placed it down here, which is the way I have it on the this one. So, like, the beam is, like, the one up from that's the center. Well, I made this bigger, not even thinking... But I placed the, the beam thing in the same spot. So it actually needs to go up. But 
the issue with this is that I need to get the beam in and you can't there's no like bending of the the beams you can't the only way you could like go up or turn would have to be in one of these kind of deals so i'm gonna have to actually lower this i think so we'll just have to yeah it's a bit of a pain and i'm wondering is like do we <laughs> Do we maybe even need like a bigger one? I really don't know. I kind of want to just get it working and then see if uh... is that right? Am I doing this right? Yeah, it actually needs to be lower, doesn't it? So we would actually have to be I would have to bring it all down one which that's going to take me a second. Because now I'm, like, <laughs> confusing myself here. All right. So if that's... Yeah. It has... This whole layer has to be emptied out. And I won't... Uh... Yeah, I won't uh, worry about recording while we do this. Okay. As I was moving it down one block, I realized I didn't have to move the beam stuff in the middle. Uh, because I was moving it down. So, yeah, I didn't actually have to break that stuff. Um, so, got that rebuilt. In theory, when I place these, it should form. Please form. Okay, there we go. So, we got both the multi-blocks formed. Now, we have to uh, get them up and running. Now, we are at an efficiency of 100%. So, I guess we will... I'll have to get this up as high as possible, I th think. Um, but first, I need to get this up to the right thing. So this is going to take me some time and a lot of trial and error, basically. As I learn this now, this we can probably just do... Uh, with the the same kind of way we did this um, I actually I don't actually think we need to be honest I don't think we need any of that stuff in there I don't think it's actually doing anything for this recipe that we have the efficiency is not it's not doing anything it's not speeding up the recipe or anything um, or maybe it's speeding up the recipe but we're not getting like any more outputs of the wafers we're not getting protons or any other byproducts from this recipe so i i don't know if that's actually necessary to be honest um i almost want to empty that out and see if we get maybe i will actually you know what i think i'm actually going to empty this out of the detectors and see if it makes any sort of difference i have a feeling it probably won't to be honest uh, just the nature of this recipe. So, particle chamber, yep. Yeah. Also, the different types of glass. Like, that's accelerator glass, this is particle chamber glass. Alright, so we're down to 100. Let's go ahead and do this so we'll put this in there did that turn on we should get 10 of these well we got 10 from before so we'll see how many we get from this um like i said i don't think this is doing anything we're not getting any byproducts or anything um so yeah and then I will start filling this because I believe we will need this. So the silicon need to be next to a particle chamber. Well, I can only put three in here, but that is more than none. So we'll do that and we should see it 
if I got this right, 45%. So did that put it up to 145? Or is it like, how does that, how does that sort out? Yeah, it's just like, I think it's just addition. Uh, every time you add a detector that meets the requirements, uh, I believe it just adds that to the thing. Now, the, the requirements of these are a bit funny. I don't think, let me put some of this stuff away because there's a whole lot of stuff in my inventory here. There we go. I don't think this works diagonally. So it must be placed within two blocks of a particle chamber. Uh, I don't think, what I think it, it does is it like, it has to be like touching them. So particle chamber in the, the middle, one block up is the, you know, like next to it. That's considered one block. Now, if I put this say here, On the diagonal, it's within two blocks, but pretty sure that it doesn't count. Uh, this would be two blocks, so it'd be one block, this is two. Whereas that doesn't work, I'm pretty sure. Also, having the, uh, <laughs> the glasses make it difficult. So, let's see, did that do anything? Yeah, so that... I mean, obviously, I haven't put anything in between it, but uh, I'm pretty sure that doesn't work. Uh, why don't we try this just so we can see? So this is 5%. So I'm assuming if I place this here, it's going to be 150. The That block will, that will work, but I don't think that one will. Nope. There we go. So yeah, that block is not functional. Unfortunately, there's no way to... I mean, maybe there is a way to tell, but uh, just looking at it, there's no like indication that is not working other than just doing the math. Like if I break that, it'll still be 150. Yeah, so these are a bit, a little bit more confusing, but what we can do with these bubble chamber since it needs to be within two blocks we can actually place them all around the silicon one and like on all the sides not there go like that and then like that i think that's all of them and then yeah this is definitely here be easier coming out this way i think There we go. And then we move on to the next detector. That's two away. This is also two away, but these bubble chamber detectors are better. That's 7.5%. Oh, just kidding. <laughs> the wire detectors are more efficient. That's 10%. All right. So you got a choice between two, and the, these are. A little more complicated to craft up you need the advanced processors so this one you don't need the advanced uh once you get the that uh the very first chamber to get the the things you can actually replace them with wire chamber so i will probably do that and then then we move on to the next one which is the three so then we can place these all around these kind of things so it's one block two blocks and then three blocks and then finally we can place the hadron on the the ones that are touching these so i'm gonna we're gonna get this up as high as we can and then uh, we'll see if we can fire everything up I, I do need to get this working first though all right uh just a quick update as i was starting to kind of plan out how i wanted to do the coolers i was realizing i kind of built this thing too big and the problem is that the coolers have such a specific thing 
like requirements and a lot of the time you have to be right next to a cavity or a magnet so the way i had built it before was actually too bigger i've actually shrunk it down it's smaller that side and smaller that side so i was running into like gaps where i just couldn't place anything because nothing was going to fit uh the requirements so like the lapis needs to be in between a yoke and a electromagnet well on one side there was two spaces so it like wasn't gonna work with the cooler so i've decided to shrink it down uh two um which that kind of tells me that yeah you can build these any size you want but there actually is kind of only certain dimensions that you really can do um now we can kind of take this where it's like alternating and then like expand on it but like i can't just add like three onto the side of this because then it's going to be out of whack with the the different cooling components um but if i wanted to add like a whole new section you know which is actually seven i could actually do that you know because then this cooler would be you know you could just repeat it basically on this side going out so yeah i'm kind of just learning how this stuff works but i think we're going to try with this now this isn't going to be fully my design. I'm like, this is just too complicated. So I am copying a, another build. So I do not take credit for this. Uh, just FYI. All right. I am just finishing this last bit up, which is these tin accelerator coolers and then these cryothium. Uh, so if we look at these, valid three tin coolers and they fit right in the corner so let me just place these and then i'll just quickly go over the coolers that we used hopefully i haven't missed anything because adjusting the size of this was <laughs> a little bit difficult okay is it gonna form no i screwed something up there's probably like something missing from somewhere i'll have to go over it that's annoying i'm probably missing a piece of glass somewhere or or something oh i didn't put any glass on top <laughs> that uh that would do it i haven't i haven't uh finished this but uh this is Not too bad. Yeah, with these builder's wands, they aren't. Isn't too bad. And for a second, I thought I finished it, and it didn't complete. All right, let's see. Is this going to complete now? There we go. All right, cool. I got it. So there we go. Uh, really quick. Uh, tin coolers, lapis coolers, and then these are aluminum, which need to be in between tin and quartz, and then obviously our redstone with the quartz, like we have done before, and then you just repeat it. So that is uh, relatively easy. And the the thing that actually makes it a little bit easier is that you either put when you're building it, you either put say there's the beam in the middle. You either put the uh, the four coolers like that, or you put the you put them in like the corners of those, or you put them like there, and you just kind of repeat it. There's no like you don't place like. You would never place it like that kind of thing. There would never be three in a row. You're always alternating. So you're either putting it right next to the beam or in the corners of the beam. So that, it makes it a bit easier, but the math still kind of works out. And then basically you just find like one you like and repeat it. So that is kind of why I'm not a huge fan of this because it's, it's kind of like a weird and same with this one. It's, I mean, we got like this is repeatable. 
But this is a bit awkward, but we had to do that to get the, the thing for that. All right, so we got that formed. I have this over here. Now, I'm a little unsure of how we get like very high uh, numbers out of this. Uh, let me grab, I don't know if we can actually do this or do I need, oh cool, I can do this. Uh, I have hooked up a cooler for liquid helium just so I have 16 buckets of the liquid helium just because it is it's 1 to 64 so that's actually 64 times 16 buckets of regular helium um, but yeah we'll just put that in there I think that yeah that should that should all be active and then um I do need a point under here to turn this on. It does look like this doesn't just... Like, the other ones just run, even if they're not on. The linear ones, even if they're not on, they're, like, still, like... They still take the uh, the stuff in, so... This one doesn't appear to be doing that. Which, why isn't that doing that? Did I switch these around? I may have... I may have made that the input. Yeah, toggle vent input mode, toggle vent to output mode. Alright, just kidding. They do, even if it's not turned on, it does cycle the, uh, the stuff through there. And then I need a couple energy and speed on there uh, i may i may do like a central thing where it just compresses all this as opposed to having one per but as of right now i don't really know if we need to all right so there is that and it is cooling it down Heating, 21,000, maximum heating, seven or 21.8, and then 7.6 is the max. So it is fully cooled. Now, this only is like 800. And even if I replaced all these with the, the absolute best ones, that would still only be... What would that be? Well, it would be, it, what, 16? 1.6 million? So like, how does that get it? Well, actually, this is gonna be coming in at 5 million, isn't it? We're already speeding up the particle. It's not starting at one all right so maybe that's how this works uh since we are inserting a thing at five million or whatever yeah five million maybe this multiplies it and if i want to increase it i either make this bigger or i make this faster kind of thing i speed it up before i put it in but yeah i we need to uh I guess we need to try it out. Um, I do th think. Oh, yeah. And since I shrank this, we have two blocks now. I, I don't know how much this is actually going to lose uh, there. I do kind of want to just turn it on and see what happens. Uh, what particle we get over here. I am kind of curious. So why don't we actually do that? We will. I have. Yeah, we have a hydrogen thing in there. We should be cooled off. Everything should... I think we are good. Everything's cooled. Should I make sure... 
all this is claimed. All right. We're actually... We're okay. Maybe I need a little bit more. Not that I need this, but we... This is going to be pretty big. Also, random... Random thought. I found out how big the uh, the next fusion reactor... Well, the fusion reactor we're going to need, uh, I found out how big it was. So yeah, that's how big the fusion reactor we're going to have to build is. <laughs> yeah, just a random... As I was crafting up other stuff, I uh, thought I would find out how big this fusion reactor is. Uh, Alright. That though. So, should we get this turned on? And see what happens? Obviously, this isn't prepared yet for what I want to do with it. But uh, I want to see what... It should pop up what we're getting. So, here we go. Hopefully, we are cooling this down, right? Yeah. All right. So we have Proton, 5 million. Does this need a lever? Um, and I will probably, yeah. So we got it up to 10 million. Is that what's popping out of this over here? All right, so there we go. We got a proton, 10 million energy in there. Well, that's not enough for the thing that I wanted to do. So that tells me I need to... Increase this somehow. So maybe the... The things? We could go up to... I mean, we have... Lots and lots of energy to deal with here. Or lots of cooling. We have 21.8. We have maximum healing at 7.6. Like, I could definitely increase these. Okay, so I've gone ahead, upgraded it. I'm making a couple more hydrogen canisters. And also, before we do this, I'm going to throw some lithium in here. Uh, I don't really need the lithium dust. What we need is the the last one. Uh, there's other ways to get sodium. And as we can see, it's not a great ratio, but let me throw these diamond ones in there before I accidentally do that. Uh, we do have 64 sodium. Now, I could do, like, sodalite. Uh, this can be centrifuged for sodium, and it's a one-to-one. -one. Uh, we have we're getting this obviously from our thing which i could even throw more upgrades in there if i wanted to but i'm not going to uh, i am going to smelt this so there is our sodium ingots all right so we are going to have to throw a new one in there let's just turn this on And I'll put a new hydrogen one in there. Uh, but I'm up to 2 million now. I just did the tier up, the one tier up. Uh, I don't have a ton of niobium. So I didn't have enough niobium. I need to get some more from uh, putting it through the rock hounding. I just didn't feel like doing that. So I just did these. Um, so we went from 200 to 500. Um, and a, just a little bit more heat. Even doing that up to 2 million, we're only doing... We're not even close to the negative 21 that we are doing. So we'll turn that on. Everything... Everything's working fine. It's feeding the helium in. It's cooling it. And let's go ahead and... Throw... A new hydrogen in there. So, that is going through there. 10 million. Is that all? Did it not increase it at all with that? Hmm. That didn't change at all, did it? Even with the better RF cavities, that didn't do anything? Is it? Oh, it's the magnets, isn't it? Just kidding. It's the magnets that I think I need. Which... Yeah, I guess that makes sense, doesn't it? 
the magnets would be the thing that is speeding it up. I wonder if those matter. Let me let me adjust these because there's only eight of them at each corner and see what it does. Turn this off just so we're not not that wasting hydrogen is oh, it's already out of hydrogen. Uh, yeah, so let's look at this. Quadruple, yeah, like 0.8. I don't, I don't know the, uh, I don't know the math behind this. So it's kind of like just learning as we go. Okay, so I've replaced those. So four at two. I don't remember. What did it say before? I don't remember. So I've upgraded those. The heat's probably gone up. Yep, the heat's up to 9.8. We'll turn that on. I don't, it didn't say what, no, because it doesn't know what protein, proton it's getting. We'll turn that on. Throw a, the hydrogen there. What are we getting? Oh, 64 million. All right. So those dipoles seem to be doing uh, a lot of, that's like too much. I think that's even too much for what we need. We're getting 64 million. Okay, so that does that. That's like that is definitely a big change. Um, I think for this recipe, the sodium, we're gonna try this one. We need 20 to 28. Are we getting? I didn't see how much. I think we had enough. The the amount I think was enough. I think it said ten or something. But yeah, too much energy. Uh, so I guess let me <laughs> go back in here and replace a couple with the way I had it before. Let's do two and see. That one and then we'll do this one as well so the dipole would be at 1 1 1.4 all right turn that on 31 it's still too much <laughs> all right we're gonna get it one more down. Let's do this one, I guess. I don't even know if I turned this off before I started breaking it open. All right, we're going to need another hydrogen, which uh, that's fine. Obviously, uh, getting this automated to insert and just keep it running permanently would be ideal, but we're not quite there yet. Oh, I thought that would have been, I thought that was burnt out. All right, there we go. Turn that on, turn that on. No, <laughs> we're too low now. No, I need 20. All right, math, math is hard. Okay. I. Broke down and replaced it with the niobium. And I actually don't know if these would make as big of a change as well. But uh, I just increased that just a little bit. So hopefully this will be correct. <laughs> no. Wow. This is uh this math is something. Am I getting too much energy? I think I am getting too much energy. Well, let's let's put that in there and we'll see. If I turn it on, let's see what happens. If we have too much energy. Does it actually work? Well, it turned on. It doesn't look like it's working, though. 
Or just, it's too much energy, I think. Too much energy. Might not even be the right amount, actually. Ah, I always forget about that. Don't look at recipes when you're in that target changer block. All right, change of plan. Uh, I have replaced a few things. The quadrupoles, though you know, the ones that have four on each side, do not seem to change the amount of energy. Um, it seems to be only the diodes, the diopole or whatever. Um, now, if you wanted to, you could switch this quadra thing to a dipole, and I think that would also work but then that would mess up all my coolers so i'm not going to do with that but um, i did actually have a thought what happens if there's a different recipe and there actually is instead of using this sodium we're actually going to use aluminum to get this sodium 22 it gives different particles we get an alpha particle out of it and a proton particle out of it um but we also get the neutron, but it requires 40 to 50, and I'm actually producing 41 right now. So uh, I need to throw another beam thing in here because technically, yeah. We'll throw, we'll uh, do this, and then I th think I have not completely messed this all up. Particle beam at that, and then it's going to take a second, unfortunately, but do that there and that. Also, uh, I had to increase my cooling, so yeah, stainless steel takes a second. Uh, I had to increase my cooling with this thing because. Just a, a few speed upgrades. We actually wasn't doing enough when this was running. Um, it, this was filling up, and then I got that uh, explosion sound that it was too hot. All right, let's do that. I don't actually... I'm assuming you probably do need all three if the recipe has three outputs, but uh, I don't know. We'll see. So aluminum, <clears throat> very basic stuff in there. I haven't put all the other things. I really just want to get this, see if we can get this working. Now, does this have hydrogen? We do. Turn that on. Turn that on. We're producing 41. Do we have enough amount? Is the amount in there? This is turned on. Is it working? Ah, it's working. It is working. Um... It is quite slow. Obviously, we don't have the efficiency in there, which we will, once I boost all the detectors in there, that will, that will speed that up. But uh, we are producing that. So yeah, it's like, it's almost like a one-to-one. -one. With no stuff in there, it's like almost like a one-to-one. -one. one canister to one sodium ingot. Um, I don't know if we're going to use this right at the second but uh i think we need positrons later don't ask me why we need them but i think we do <laughs> but uh i think i read that somewhere that we we're gonna need the sodium so it must be the sodium source it must be this positron we need it for something closing chamber something here anti-deuterium I have no idea but there we go there is our sodium 22 for that but uh all right anyway that was really cool we'll come back next episode and see if we can get some scrontium so thanks for watching and have a good one